So I wake up in the morning from my tent sleeping, which, by the way, is just incredible. Can you imagine waking up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom and saying, Boy, those crickets are getting kind of loud. Not the police sirens, not the gunshots, not the neighbors fighting with each other, but the crickets are the loudest thing. Okay, anywho, back to my story. So I wake up in the morning and I'm greeted by this thing on TikTok where this police officer, who used to be a Marine, is making a very popular video about the United States Marines got into a firefight in Hawaii with FEMA workers. And the FEMA workers surrendered and they found 113 dead bodies in the back of the FEMA workers' trucks. Tremendously popular video in such a short time. Uh, had something like 300,000 likes and uh, 4,000 comments. And then I woke up all the way and I thought to myself, FEMA workers don't carry guns. And Marines aren't supposed to be deployed on American soil. So I googled this story just because I was curious. And turns out there was such a story on the internet written by Mike something, I want to say Douglas, but maybe not. A farcical story about this happening. It was completely false, and at the bottom he completely stated it was false and made for satire. And now, we probably have a million conservative Republicans with more fuel on their fire saying the federal government is killing Hawaiians. And in two days' time, it'll be Joe Biden's killing Hawaiians. Why are conservative Republicans so stupid? Why are they so naive? I remember when Rand Paul ran, I think it was uh, against Obama who won that election. They were telling, now here's a man who's a genius. He's a certified genius. He's a libertarian. He supports all the ideals of conservative republicanism except for the one that says you should be smart. And I'm just not saying that because his family's from Pittsburgh. But the conservative constabulary told their people, half of them, that he's too smart, he's too nerdy, he's not cool enough to be a president. He won't do well in negotiating international treaties. Uh, and half of them believed them. The other half, they told him, he's a libertarian. He's uh, all about hip, doofus, hipster stuff like legalized marijuana, which he wasn't. And the other half believed this. So here you had half of conservative Republicans believing that he wasn't cool enough and the other half believing that he was too cool. And thus their best candidate... Uh, didn't get a nomination and Obama completely uh, obliterated the person he ran against. So this goes to the question is why don't conservatives check their facts? The director of the mission once told me when he was trying to force his political agenda down my throat and don't get me wrong doesn't matter if you're trying to force a lie down my throat, whether it's a Republican lie or a Democrat lie, I'm going to tell you it's a lie. He told me this story that Joe Biden was the reason why styrofoam cups cost so much. And I said, why is that, Pastor Jeff? And he said, well, they've almost doubled in price since Joe Biden's become president. Hmm, okay. It had, uh, in his mind, it had nothing to do with the United States is uh, 
has a, what do they call it, oh, uh, a block of exports to China, one of these exports being polystyrene, the United States being the third largest producer of polystyrene, which makes styrofoam cups. The first and second largest producers of polystyrene, Germany and France, uh, have cut production by 300% because of uh, global warming treaties. Uh, the fourth largest production of polystyrene is at war with the sixth largest producer of polystyrene, and that le leaves us with the fifth largest producer of polystyrene, Venezuela, who does not have access to the Suez or Panama Canal, which means it takes it takes them almost two and a half weeks to get the polystyrene all the way to China where it can be produced with very dirty uh, side effects for the environment and then sent to American markets not only increasing the time and the pay to the number of workers to produce the same amount but also increasing the fuel prices look check your facts if you're going to believe something is something's going to change your mind about something get a second opinion about it check your facts and about republicans and democrats conservatives and liberals their name says it all what they are they're conservatives they want to conserve the way things are they don't want anything to change. The liberals, they want to liberate. They want to change. So if you like the way the country's being run right now, then you should be voting conservative. Okay? If you don't like the way the country's being run, you should be voting liberal. But realistically, what it breaks down to is uh, Republicans giving low taxes... Uh, to rich people and uh, the Democrats raising taxes to take care of the poor people. That's all it basically breaks down to, folks. It's that easy. Either you want to help people and take a little more out of your pocket, or you want to keep things the way they are and keep poor people poor and rich people rich. It's that easy. It's time, it's time to start using your brains. Seriously.